Christ. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for waking us up this morning. And thank you for letting us be here today. In Jesus, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. that no one could count from every nation, tribe, people, and language standing before the throne and before the Lamb.
We just thank our choir for this beautiful song service that has been here today. As we all know, today is, uh, we will have our Black History service. And uh, Sister, De um, well, Mother in Training, Demetrius Crawford, it, she always has such wonderful ideas and such wonderful themes for our Black History service. This year's theme is Say Their Name and the History of Soul Food. It's Mother in Train, she already told me no, but I'm going to do it on the mic. Uh, if Mother in Train and Sister Demetrius Crawford would come and just do our MC so I can go to the back and help the youth get their presentation. Thank you. Thank you. No, she uh, gone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so today we are observing uh, Black History Month, and uh, with everything that's been going on in our nation and different things, uh, we are wanting to come and uh, basically give a presentation today yes. uh, based on the things that are going on in our nation. Mm -hmm. And so, with further ado, uh, Sister First Lady Shana Orr, uh, she will come up and take the mic. And uh, I'm just, I'm at a loss of words. <laughs> and so she will come up and take the mic, and then she knows the order of service that her and Tika has prepared to uh, and what we're going to do. Amen. 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 The Black History theme for 2023 is Black Resistance. African Americans have resisted historic and ongoing oppression in all forms, especially the racial terrorism of lynching and police killings since our arrival upon these shores. Statistics show that the trend of fatal police shootings in the United States seems to be increasing with a total of 1,096 civilians having been shot, in which 225 of whom were black. As of January 2023, there has already been 79 fatal shootings. In 2021, there were 1,048 fatal shootings. The deadly shootings of unarmed black men and women by police officers in the United States has garnered worldwide attention over the last few years. Today, we will spotlight some of the people whose lives were lost at the hands of law enforcement as thousands of people continue to protest police brutality of blacks by mostly white officers.
Good morning, everybody. Good morning. 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 First of all, just give an honor to God. What a pleasure it is to be back at Hanaway. I bet you I haven't been here in about 20 years. And I bet you when I was here, I did have yeah. all over 20 years ago. Yeah. Um, it was my first year teaching at Central that God gave me the story of Hats. I wanted a way to teach my kids about African American history, and it's like God just gave it to me, just yeah. poured out of me. And since that time, I have performed hacks thousands of times all over this world. Amen. Yes, Amen. even in London, Amen. in Africa. I mean, I've been all over doing hacks. Yeah. But you know what? I really prefer to do it in small settings like this with people that look like me because that's where it came from. Uh, I just like to take my time and think back to what it was like that very first class in the, uh, or the choir was so beautiful. I think about the scripture that says, suffer the little children. Let me tell you, I teach in the school system suffer <laughs> that, that was the number one word because that's what we do every day suffer the little children and forbid them not for such is the kingdom of heaven and they blessed my heart this morning just seeing for once for, for just a few minutes I didn't have to suffer I didn't have to say be quiet I didn't have to say stop put that down don't do that why are you doing that put that up I just got to enjoy them worshiping the Lord and so uh, it was a pleasure boy I see people I haven't seen in a long but oh I don't remember you singing like that before you boy what happened <laughs> you know, really got good boy that was wonderful yeah. And for the honor, man, there's so many people that I see that I haven't seen in so long. It's a blessing to see you. So without further ado, I'm going to tell you the story. That's what I came to do. <laughs> this is a story about hats. Don't, don't worry about standing up. I'm just going to put them down here, but I'm going to pick them up, I promise you. This is a story about hats. The things that we wear on the top of our heads. Mm -hmm. And this is the story of the people who wear them, some of them living, some of them dying, some of them even dead. Now a hat can be a simple thing for work or play, even just for fun. It shields us from the wind and the rain and it hides us from the sun. But to the people of long ago, a hat was something more, for it represented the stories of now and gone before. Now, do you remember our first hats? The hats of kings and queens, full of color and pride and glory, beauty and hopes and dreams. Now it is said that the father looked down from the sky and sent hats down from heaven for his people to try. These hats were inlaid with silver and gold, made for God's holy people with riches untold. And we wore these hats as we worshiped the sun on the west coast of Africa, where our race first begun. In dominion, we ruled from the desert to the sea. Wearing our crowns majestic, we were strong and proud, and we were free. But all too soon, the white sails slashed, our hints untouched horizons. Our men and women were stolen, our babes left lone and crying. And with ropes around our necks and chains around our feet, we were dragged onto foreign ships to dark holes down beneath. 
and we wept aboard the vessels that took us from our homes, for our hats were snatched away. And it seemed all hope was gone. We prayed to God for strength and for his eternal grace. God, please restore our hats. Return us to our place. And once we reached the foreign shore with unknown culture and unknown law, we received our new hats. <clears throat> but these were made of woven straw. Now this was a hat of humility for which our father gave, for we were still his children, whether kings or whether slaves. This hat would shade our brow through the fields of wheat and cotton, but soon we lost our legacy and our birthright was forgotten. In this hat, we were beaten, mistreated, worked until we break. In this hat of despair, our destinies were shaped. In this hat, we watched our children being sold. And in this hat, we prayed to God while sleeping in the cold. In this hat of blood and in this hat of tears, we suffered, but we survived through the bitter, slavery years. A hat made of straw, a hat full of shame, a hat that broke our spirits, but then a new hat came. The call of freedom fell down like the sweat upon our backs, and we would trade that straw bonnet for Lincoln's navy cap. Blue and gray, red and white, clash like mighty thunder. And we fought like angels to defeat the hell we now lived under. Cry freedom from our torment. Let our people go. And when the Civil War was over, our victory was in tow. Now the war would buy our freedom. You see, the South had truly lost, but the price of freedom. For many, death would be the cost. And although the swords were now laid down, the papers neatly signed, the South retained a chastening rod, and she refused to lose her bind. And hatred found her vengeance in every way that she could. And we would trade that warrior's cap for the hangman's evil hood. The lynchings and the burnings as we swung beneath the noose, murdered up on the rafter, swinging down from the roof. Reconstruction would delay the peace that we were after. And through those years, our souls were cold and muffled was our laughter. But just like pressure releases a diamond from within a blackened stone, our pain released something beautiful. Our rhythm, our blues, and our soul. And with our tired voices, we found the strength to sing the blues. Hot buttered soul and jelly jam, checkered coats and blue suede shoes. Right. With a steel heel and a tap, and a drum beat from the past, we invented the soothing sound of gospel of soul. And just now let me tell you something about Minnie the Moocha. Right. She was a low down hoochie coochie. <laughs> and when it came time for her to sit on the bus, 
they yell, Minnie, get back. Girl, you ain't one of us. You see, we could stand at the doors. We could wash all the floors. We could march in the armies. We could die in the wars. We could run like Jesse Owens. We could fight like Joe Lewis. But when it came to equal rights, they simply looked right through us. Mm -hmm. Like Jackie Robinson, we could take a ball, knock it clean out the park. But still, we had no freedom. Our skin was just too dark. Mm -hmm. So we got tired of tapping and tired of stepping, tired of bowing and tired of fetching. Tired of sitting on the back of the bus. Tired of fountains, one for them, one for us. Mm -hmm. So we shook off the blues and we took off the cap and we traded that derby for a new marching hat. Now these hats would march through the streets of the South. Demanding our freedom through the nonviolent route. Now these hats would stand for the right to sit in. These hats were sent to jail until justice could win. These were hats for the boycotts, the protests, and the bombs. These hats, they would shield us from all hurt and harm. These hats we would wear with pride till that day the drum major was shot <gasps> oh. and our hats blew away time for a new hat time for a new way burn baby burn this new hat would say Peace was a proverb, war is the truth. We need a hat to fight, rob, and loot. We need a hat that can curse. We need a hat that can stain. So we covered our heads in the black stocking cap. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Say it strong, I've got a new song. No longer patience. No longer wait, we've endured the evil. Now behold the hate. And when this hat had lost its tooth and its stain, we were left in a world of confusion and pain. Kangles and do-rags to keep all our ways strong. Bonnets and hoodies that target our Trayvons. This time we had different shackles and chains. We imprisoned our own minds with dope in our veins. Amen. Adrift in a tide of poverty and crime, we were like ships on the wreckage of time. Perhaps we feel better if we reclaimed our names, found a new hat, a new someone to blame. A hat that said pride, a hat that said black, a hat that had style like the Malcolm X cap. Now this hat was fly. Its popularity grew. But when we looked around, everybody else was wearing them too. So we flipped the hat to the back and we left on the tag lay down the funky rhythm and we let our pants sag and I rap it was hype send the word to your mother we disrespect our women in the streets we kill our brother so now what to put on top of our heads Hat can't put life into minds that are dead. We can color our hair, plait, twist, or braid, but we'll still need a hat to wear, I'm afraid. All of these years and all of these hats 
covering up our heads, weave hiding our naps. <laughs> you see, a hat gives a fashionable style and a look, but a hat can't return what we lost or was took. You see, the real hat we left on the African plain was not on our heads, it was inside of our brains. That hat was the knowledge that we are wondrously made, the children of God made to walk in the shade. That hat was the knowledge that we are God's own, meant to feast at the table, not nibble at the bone. We are more than our clothes, our shoes, and our hair. We're more than our words or the hats that we wear. Our hats may be lost, but new hats can be found. Our hats may be stolen, but to hats we were never bound. We need new hats with power, new hats with might. We need hats like Obama on election night. We need hats for our future. It's coming so soon. We need hats that can go all the way to the moon. Mm -hmm. These war hats and work hats will one day lay down and trade them for new and glorious crowns. All right. But to that day of glory, the hat they can't take away is a hat educated for graduate's day. For knowledge is power, mm -hmm. and the wisdom that it brings will restore our reign as kings and as queens with hats that can never be stolen or chained. For what made you royal was always your brain. Mm -hmm. We may stumble and fall, but we'll get up again. From the fires will emerge, from the ashes we will win. I can hear our people calling us from deep down in the earth. You see, we've all come too far to forget what we are worth. Amen. So lift your heads high and remember where you've been. Throw back your shoulder, feel the champion within. For you now have the key to peace for your brethren. Your minds are full of knowledge and your hat was made in heaven. Thank you.
Say my name, Jason Moore. restrained him even though he said he couldn't breathe. They still restrained him and died from not enough oxygen to the lungs.
Oscar Grant was shot at a train station at the age of 22. His life matters. Justice for Kaiza Miller. Kaiza Miller was 27 years old and mother of two. She was shot and killed by Detroit, Michigan police November 10, 2022 while being mentally ill. Justice for Kaiza Miller. Justice for Sean Bell. Died, died in a car, over 50 bullets were shot at him. Left him injured, and left him dead, and took his friend injured. Tracy Greta died April 13, 2023, by a canine officer who shot her car more than 30 times. Dante Wright. Dante Wright was stopped by officers for traffic violation. Police tried to detain him for outstanding a warrant. Brooklyn Center officer Kim Potter started to shoot at him when he was trying to get back in his car. The police chest chief says it was an accident and that officer Kim Potter mistaked her gun for a taser. John Eric Henderson. Officer Christopher Gaynoy Gaynoy shot Henderson during a traffic stop. After he reached into his car and picked up a brown object, Henderson was holding a bottle of cologne. Gaynor was charged with criminally negligent homicide, but was not guilty. Ayanna Jones was a 70 year old girl from Detroit East Side who was shot in the head and killed by police officer during a riot. Conducted by the Detroit Police Department's Special Response Team on May 16, 2010, Officer Joseph Weekly was charged in a connection with Jones' death, but her case was thrown out in 2015 after two months of trials. Wow. Wow. On November 23rd, 2014, Tamir Rice was shot because he was playing with the toy gun. Luther Jackson was unlawfully murdered on October 25, 1959, when he was visiting uh, Philadelphia, Mississippi, when a police officer told him and the woman he was with to get out of their car. When he got out of the car, the police officer pushed him and later two gunshots were heard. The officer later said that Jackson was resisting arrest. He was only 27 years old, say his name. We just want to take this time to extend an invitation to anyone here who wants to rededicate their life, give their life to Christ, uh, who wants to become a member here at Hanaway uh, as we stand all over this church. <laughs>
Thank you everyone for attending service today, attending service today, and those tuning in through Facebook Live. Congratulations to Sister Kayla Crawford and the Columbia Central Lady Lions on winning the district championship. All right. There will be men's choir rehearsal this Tuesday at 6 p.m. followed by a praise team rehearsal at 6.30 p.m. There will be a ministerial alliance this Saturday, February 25th at 11 a.m. at Bethesda Original Church of God. The men's choir will sing on next Sunday at St. Paul AME at 3 p.m. for the 100 Men in Black program. On Sunday, March 5th, the HYP will be having an outing. Sister Tika Crawford will be getting more information out to the parents. On Saturday, March 11th, there will be a choir workshop here at Hanaway. This is for all choir members for anyone interested in singing in any of the choirs. On the third Sunday in March, the pastor in Hanaway will worship with Bethesda Original Church of God for their pastor anniversary at 10 a.m. There will be no service at Hanaway on the third Sunday in March. There will be a deacon slash deaconess summit on Saturday, March 25th at 1030 at Railroad Street Original Church of God. This is for the deacons and their wives, the pastors and their wives. Deacon Danny Lockridge is in charge of this event. The June convocation will be June 25th, June 22nd through the 25th at the Courtyard by Marriott downtown Fort Wayne, Indiana. The room rate is 149 plus tax a night. We would like to get a count of how many people um, may be interested in riding the bus to the June meeting. Please see Sister Gwen Harris or Sister Tina Crawford to be put on the list. The social media department is selling tote bags with the Hanaway logo on the front. If you are interested in purchase, purchasing a bag, the cost is $10. There is an order form up front as well for anyone interested in purchasing a bag. Make sure to say if you would like the round logo or the book logo. Just a reminder, the van is available on Sunday mornings for anyone who is interested in riding. Please contact Brother Keith Crawford for any youth or adults who would like to be picked up. We invite, we invite everyone to stay for Soul Food Sunday immediately following service. This is HYPU Sunday. If you would like to give to the HYPU, please make note on your offering envelope. Also, the Urshers will have the jar for the scholarship if anyone has loose change they would like to donate. We have corporate prayer, corporate prayer every Sunday at 9.50 a.m., worship service every Sunday at 10 a.m., Sunday school at 9 a.m., and Bible study every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Please come to all announcements in mind. Thank you. We're going to take an offering and we'll be coming to you. We'll ask you and John to bless all. Let us all pray. Our Father in heaven, we give thanks to you for this day. Heavenly Father, we give thanks to you for coming into our service and making what it has been, O oh Lord. Yes. And so, Lord, bless those that are giving, bless those that are not happy to give. They may be blessed to give at another time. These are all blessed, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
Soul food is much more than dishes and not so lot of meals. Soul food was originated with foods that were given to masters by us, the slaves by our masters on some plantations during the antebellum period. During the period of the US up uh, during the period of slavery in the US from 1619 to 1865, most of Africans and Ameri African Americans ate was regulated by plantation owners. Some meat and some small amount once a week, and that was it, no veggies, no dairy, no fruit. Over time, these techniques became the soul food dishes we are familiar with today. We have uh, pork, uh, uh, greens, and fried fish, and uh, corn. And then, um, um, soul food is a very important part of the black community. It's how we still connect with our family and friends. Soul food is a way we can honor our ancestors. I will uh, bless the soul food. Uh, Lord, thank for uh, uh, waking us up this day. Uh, Start us on our way. Please bless the uh, soul food as we go back there and fellowship. And bless the people who come. May you bless people and the church, bless people in this choir's name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 We thank God for this day and for everything that's taking place. I do have two corrections from the announcements. Um, the third Sunday in March, we will have church here. We're not going to Bethesda until the third Sunday in April. But the fourth Sunday in March um, at three o'clock, we will be going to Women's Chapel for their men's day. So we'll have church every Sunday. Please don't let me get on one short the third Sunday in March. Um, so that will be the third Sunday in April that we will not have service and we'll be traveling to Nashville too. But that's that. Amen. 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 Just a reminder, we will start our class on Wednesday. Um, Sister Baxter let me know that we have a whole bunch of food. So if you plan on fasting, um, I know that some of y'all are going to have stuff Tuesday. Um, you can start by today and eat everything you want to eat. Remember, we're fasting. No pork, no beef, no sweets, um, no fried foods. And it's 40 days, so if you plan on participating. And um, I just want to say, y'all almost started a ride last week when Sister Harris made the announcement. Um, you know, we're going to make it, guys. I promise you, we're going to make it. Starting on Ash Wednesday through um, Palm Sunday. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let us be said of that. Let us stand all over the place. But Tyson didn't see you. I'm not going to look at you. <laughs> we also want to encourage all of our men uh, to come out on Tuesday at 6 o'clock for Miss Paul rehearsal. It won't be long. I promise we have to get ready for it in St. Paul on next Sunday. So please come out and support um, Mel Choir Rehearsal. Thank you so much. Now, gracious God, we thank you, we praise you, we lift you up, we magnify your holy name, for you alone are worthy of all the praise, honor, and glory. God, we ask you right now to continue to bless us. Lord, thank you for the things that you have made, the things that you have done, and the things you're getting ready to do in our lives. Lord, we ask now that you would just continue to bless us and keep us is our prayer. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit for the rest room in the body to keep each of us henceforth now and forevermore. Let us all say amen. 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 Tell somebody